Maybe there are a lot of errors in this one. All right, so the question is asking us to compute the dimensions for electrical resistance, given that the resistance is, what is happening? Okay, given that the resistance is what? Given that the resistance is uh, V over I. So we're going to introduce power because we know the dimensions for current. We also, and then we've been asked to find the dimensions for what? For the resistance. Meaning the only thing that we can replace there is what? The voltage. And we can only get the voltage from the formula for power. So as we know that power is equal to V, I, and the same power can also be written as um, I squared R, then the same power can also be written as V squared over R. So what is happening here is that I'm just making, um, at first, the, we know to say power is equal to V, I, so if you want to get this one, it means that you're making V the subject of the formula. When you make V the subject of the formula and you replace it while there's V there, you're going to get this, uh, this formula here. If you make I the subject of the formula in this formula and you replace it while there's I here, you're going to get uh, this formula for power. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. So I'll make, um, I'll make, um, v the subject of the formula. So V will therefore be equal to P uh, over I. So where there is V, I'm going to replace with what? P over I. So I'm going to have P over I there, and then everything divided by what? By I. So this is going to give us what? P over I squared. Yeah, so it's giving us P over I squared. Or if you want, instead of going through this process, you, you can just get this formula here and make R the subject of the formula. You just say R is equal to P over I squared. So this is what we have found there. So, it depends with which way you want to take. Otherwise, you still get you still get to the same answer. So that is what we have there. But we also know that the same power, power is defined as the work done, um, the work done within a what a specific period of time. So we have work done over the change in what in time. So we can uh, replace the power with that formula there. So we know that power is just a work done over the time. And we're dividing everything by what? By I squared. So when we divide this into that, we're going to have the work done over the change in what? In time times I times I squared. But remember, the work done is simply just equal to the force times distance. So we can also replace that. So we can say force times distance over the change in time times the current squared. So here it's just the matter of putting in the dimensions now. So we have the dimensions for force, we said it's what? It's M, it's M what? You remember ML T negative two, right? And then distance here or the displacement is given by L. Then everything divided by uh, delta T there is simply just T, and then I squared to be A squared. So the dimensions for current is simply just umpires. So we'll just write A there. So we can simplify this further. We have M, then L times L there to give us what? L to the power two. And then um, 
this t when it goes up or before it goes up let's just write this the way it is so we have t to the power negative two then everything divided by t and a squared so we can simplify this by taking these, the denominators that, uh, I mean the denominators to take them up there. So I'm going to have m l squared t to the power negative two times t to the power what? To the power negative one. And then times a to the power negative two. And when you simplify this, you get your final answer as m, uh, L2, then when you add t to the power negative two and t to the power negative three, you're getting t to the power negative three. When you get, when you add negative one and negative two, you're getting t to the power negative three and you have a to the power negative two. So this is the uh, formula for resistance. Yeah, so this is the dimensional formula for resistance. Okay, so um, let, let's uh, quickly move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is this one. 